Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for you, otherwise known as weather overtime. If you've never been on here before, to take a look at things down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, that is me down there talking to you via the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center and information about the forecast, the current conditions right there, and forecast information for today and tonight in the bars at the bottom of your screen. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, WREG.com slash weather for the information up here and all of this available on my social media networks. We are currently live on uh, Twitter and Periscope and we're also live on Google Plus and YouTube this morning so thanks for joining us for a quick weather update. Again this is a weather blog your opportunity to catch the weather on your schedule so thanks for joining me on this. Taking a look at some of the weather there are cameras out there from the National Park System NPS.gov, the National Mall, a little bit of cloud cover but a little bit of sunrise starting to show up around the horizon into around the DC Beltway area back here closer to home back at the ranch we've got numbers again not too bad out there but also some patchy dense fog across portions of the area just enough sunshine sneaking through around the water towers just north of Germantown High School in Germantown Tennessee sunrise from Mineral, Mineral Wells Mississippi around the area of Olive Branch Mississippi from Tim B's webcam around the Weather Underground Network camp if you'd like to see more about those, head to the Weather Underground for more information there. Visibility at the area close to in and around Germantown Parkway in Cordova is showing again a little bit of fog here and there, but otherwise traffic is fairly light so far. And as of right now, no problems at all. As temperatures after the fog burns away should be again very much on the mild side out across much of the area for later on today. In fact, if we get enough sunshine, this is kind of a big if at this point. It depends on how much cloud cover we get out there. Sunshine galore and temperatures could be pushing the lower 70s as we get into later on this afternoon. Record high for today is again well we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Four hundredths of an inch of rain in the rain gauge from yesterday. We are behind for the month and the year so we could definitely use some more rainfall. We'll be picking up some of the remnants of that storm out in California. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Record high for today 76 set back in 1986 and looking again at some very warm conditions out across much of the area so we could be seeing again the possibility of some near record-breaking temperatures across portions of the Mid-South today if we get enough sunshine but it's going to be very difficult to say as of right now whether or not we're going to cross that threshold until we get closer into this afternoon. It really depends on how much cloud cover is out there that may be blocking out more of the sunshine for today. The rest of the day today again as we burn off some of this fog we should be looking at some fairly mild conditions across much of the area for later on. Much of what we're seeing right now is going to be again in the form of just light amounts of cloud cover across much of the area and that will be sticking around from time to time so we could be seeing again uh, the potential of some areas picking up some temperatures very much on the much milder side for much of the mid-south today back into around the mid to upper 50s to the lower 60s by the time we head into around lunchtime today. But we could also see temperatures in some parts of the area depending on where the clouds stay away from. That's where we could see again the possibility of cooler temperatures underneath those clouds, mid to upper 60s to lower 70s by early this afternoon. Some of that could be on the record-breaking side. We'll see what happens with that later this afternoon into this evening. Clearing out as we head toward dinner time tonight, News Channel 3 at 5. Be sure to join us for an update on all the day's news, weather, and sports coming up. We'll see if Mike Sadie can pronounce some of those Russian names again that he was doing yesterday. By News Channel 3 at 10, mild temperatures in the mid-south back in the 50s and into the 60s. So we are seeing again some pretty mild conditions out there. And by the time Todd Demers is on the air with the forecast for daybreak early Monday morning, temperatures in the mid-south should be back into the lower to mid 50s, maybe a few mid to upper 40s around portions of the area close to up and around uh, areas of northwestern Tennessee, back around areas of west Tennessee. Could be seeing again some fairly cool temperatures up there. It might even be a few mid to upper 40s across much of the area, but mostly back in the 50s. The warmer air is just not going to allow for anything out there to really get that chilly, and no freezing temperatures are going to be seen coming our way anytime soon. Taking a look at the area around Iraq, for those of you who have friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States military, this is a new program that we have. We've been doing it for a little bit called Weather with a 
troops are. If you'd like to know more about this, all this information you see on screen is available internationally, totally for free from the World Meteorological Organization. We'll have links to that posted at wrag.com slash weather. Temperatures again not bad, 50s and 60s right before sunset in Iraq. Looking back toward the Persian Gulf, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s with some breezy winds around Doha and Bahrain. Back down toward the Persian Gulf with high 50s and plenty of sunshine there. Sun has set around portions of the area close to Faizabad. Snow and temperatures in the mid to upper 20s this early Sunday evening. Cloudy skies, 40s around Kandahar and Kabul and 15 degrees with partly to mostly cloudy skies up around the Herat area in the northwestern part of the country. Back to around South Korea. Temperatures again back into the lower to mid 40s across much of the area. Some rain around Taegu, Seoul, Chuncheon, close to the demilitarized zone, and 44 degrees in and around Kunsan for this early uh, Monday morning over in that direction. And back down toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, temperatures in the mid 70s at the high temperature for the day. So looking at temperatures pretty close to normal into around southeast Cuba. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, now is the time to get ready for it. We don't have any severe weather in the forecast. Forecast, but it's always time to get prepared for the potential of severe weather. <clears throat> Excuse me. Best way to do that is to attend one of these meetings from the National Weather Service. These are the first five meetings that will be coming up throughout the course of the next several weeks. There will be more meetings, about two dozen of them, all the way through about the late March area. These right here, starting off this coming Tuesday at Boonville, Mississippi, and in Senatobia, Mississippi, on Tuesday the 21st at 6.30 p.m. Thursday the 23rd next week, Arkansas Northeast College in Blytheville, Arkansas, Pontotoc, Mississippi, next next week monday the 27th and tuesday the 28th in tupelo mississippi at the lee county supervisors building the one for memphis will be coming up thursday march 23rd seven o'clock at lord of life lutheran church on poplar pike right around east memphis to around just close to the germantown area so if you'd like to know more about what you can do before during and after severe weather this is where you want to be so if you'd like to know more about that please stop by national weather service or again at this website right there and all the information will be listed there as well. Join me on the forecast for tomorrow morning, Monday through Friday, with Memphis Radio Show in the morning first, and then Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That's Monday through Friday, or early mornings, and I'll have my forecast on there as well. And get our severe weather app that's available through your app store. Just search WREG Weather for the complete weather app from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Right now, again, pretty quiet. We're going to be finishing up daybreak here in the next about 40 minutes or so, so stay tuned for more news, sports, weather, and all the information with myself and co-anchor Nina Harrelson. We'll be filling you up to date on what's going on, plus the updates on the forecast coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. Got questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything like that, please email them to me. It's been a long morning and I haven't had any coffee. Email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com and we'll see what we can do to help you on this. This is your weather blog. Whatever you want to see on here when it comes to weather, if there's something you feel we're missing, please let me know and I'll be glad to put that together for you just to make certain that everybody has a great idea as to what's going on weather in the Mid-South on your schedule from the station that's on your side. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic at the WREG News Channel 3 Studios. Join me for a four Cast again later on tonight on News Channel 3 on air and online. And thanks for joining us for today's quick weather update of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. <laughs>